Have you ever wondered how you can sell and buy a house at the same time? Well, stay tuned. That's today's topic. Hi everybody, my name is Norris Bangler and I'm with Rogue Real Estate here in Bend, Oregon. And today's topic is, how do you buy and sell a property at the same time? It is a little bit complicated, but it definitely can be done. So here are five tips to help get you through the process. Step number one is to do your research and to know all your financials. So this is all about statistics, numbers, money, budgeting, ugh, all that stuff we pretty much hate. But it's really important to know your numbers up front, do your research on both the property that you're selling and the type of home you're trying to buy. Is it a buyer's market or a seller's market? Ask your realtor that question and understand how that's gonna affect your negotiating situation, the power that you have on both sides of this transaction. So know your numbers, and part of this is know your numbers. So you need to get pre-approved for the loan that you're gonna to need to buy the other property. So you're selling one, and you probably have some equity, and you're gonna get some money back at the end of that transaction, probably a nice big fat check, hopefully. And you're gonna be able to use that money to help buy your other home, but you need to know exactly what those numbers are so talk with a realtor, get with a great experienced mortgage lender in your area and um, get all that information up front. Step number two in this process is to list your home for sale. Now, I know most people wanna go look for their new home at this point in the process, but try and hold off because the whole process will be much smoother, shorter, and less stressful if you can get your home prepared to sell, and I have another video about that process, and you can get it listed, and start your realtor can start marketing it, and you can get an offer on it. That's what you want. So list your home for sale. Um, that's step two. Step three is a little bit um, about preparing your home for sale. Start decluttering, depersonalizing, packing up all those knickknacks, um, some of your photographs, your wall art possibly, anything that makes your home feel a little bit crowded, go ahead and start packing that stuff away. Step number four is something I definitely suggest that you do at this point in the process, and that is create a backup plan B for in case you sell your home, but you have not yet found your next home and there's a gap in between because you don't want to be left with no place to go. So hopefully line up some friends, family, a short-term rental, um, one of the hotels that does long-term stays, something that will give you a few weeks leeway because you just might need it. It's not always possible to have the home you're selling and the home you're buying close at exactly the same time or even within a couple days. That will be the goal but there may be a couple weeks in between, so definitely have a backup plan. Step number five, here's the fun part, is that once your home is listed and you've got an accepted offer, and ideally you should wait until you're actually through the buyer's inspection period. Um, that's an important time frame to get through all the negotiating and everything at that point should be finished. Then, now's the time to go find your dream home, your next home, um, because you can make a much stronger offer now that your home has an accepted offer in place. And especially if you're through the inspection period, that will look even better when you're placing an offer on your next home. So that gives you a leg up in negotiating on your next home. Now I know most people want to rush out and find their next home before they even list their current home for sale. And sometimes you can get things a bit backwards, upside down. So I recommend that you stick to this process and get your home listed first and get an offer on it, then go looking for your next home. 
If you need real estate services in Bend or the Central Oregon area, please contact me. I'd be more than happy to talk to you, see if we're a good fit to work together. Um, I can help you buy a home, sell a home, or do both at the same time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching to the very end of this video. And as your reward, you get a free PDF of, it's a great checklist for how to prepare your home for sale. And there's all this information from this video um, about selling and buying at the same time. All those tips will be included. So just click the link down below and sign up. Send me your email address and your name through that link. And I will send you a PDF. And good luck buying and selling. If you're in my area, I would love to hear from you and happy to help you sell and buy property in Central Oregon.